video, I am going to use an experiment to explain probability distribution and discrete random variables. So my experiment is I toss four fair coins, right? Toss four fair coins. And I want to let the random variable X be the number of heads. So how many options do we have? We have zero head, right? One head, two head, three heads. The maximum is four heads. So since this is a random variable, that means each x has its own probability. So let's put the x down to the table. So zero head. Um, before we do that, how many outcomes do we expect to see in total in the sample space? So like four coins, right? So every coin has two faces. So that will be two. And then times first coin, second coin, third coin, and the fourth coin. So four times four, there are 16 outcomes. All right. So if you count a 15, that means you make a mistake. So how do you get a zero head? Zero head means all tail, right? So that will be T, 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 T. And then one head. So I have a one head, right? So that will be H, T, 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 right? The way I do this is I move the head to the right hand side one step at a time. So T, H, T, T, and then T, T, H, T, and then T, 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 H, all right? So, and then the next one, the next one is hard. The next one is two head. This one is very easy to miss. So you have two head H H T T right, and then you move the H to the right one step at a time. So H T H T, and then H T T H, and then what else? And then move the other head too, and then T H T H, and then T T H H. Okay, did I miss anything? There are five in here. There are supposed to be six. So one thing that I miss is the T H H T. So we have T T H H, right? But we don't have T H H T. So that would be the sixth outcome. And then the next one is a three head. So that will be a H H H T. So we move the T to the left one step at a time. And then uh, H T H H, and then T H H H, right? And then the last one is four head, so there is one which is all head. Okay, so what's the total? The total is equals to sixteen, right? So the first one, the probability of X, so the first one is one out of sixteen, and then that is four out of sixteen, and then a five out of sixteen and then four out of 16, and then one out of 16, no fraction, do, I mean, no decimal, do not reduce the fraction. So what is the sum? The sum is equals to 16 over 16, which is equals to one. So you see two important features, or you can say three. First of all, each probability is between zero and one. I won't call that a feature, because every time we mention probability, you have to know that it's between zero and one. But if you want to count that as a feature, one of the features, fine. Okay, every probability, every fraction is between zero and one because the numerator is less than the denominator. And then number two, all the probabilities, they sum up to one, just like the sum of the relative frequencies is equal to one. So that is number two. And then number three is every x, x equals to zero has its probability, x equals to one has its probability, so on and so forth. All right, so every x has its own probability. So number three is check. And then what do we call this? What is this table called? This is table is called the probability distribution. So let's write, write, write this down, probability distribution. Of the discrete random variable x, All right? So x has five distinct outcomes and then we just uh, dis distribute the sample space into this table. So there you go. And then um, how about this? Let's ask two probability questions. Just make this more fun. So the first question that I would like to ask is, uh, what is the probability of getting at most two heads? You flip, you toss four fair coins, coin, 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 coin. You toss, you toss them. What is the probability that you get at most two heads? So probability of at most two at most two. What is at most two? At most two means 
the maximum is 2. So that will be x less than or equal to 2, including 2. So x can be 2, 1, and then 0, right? So the probability of 2 is 5 over 16. The probability of 1 is 4 over 16. The probability of 0 is 1 over 16. See how convenient it is? The total is 10 over 16. So that makes the problem even more fun. What about at least 2? The probability of at least 2 half. So you have coin, 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 4 coins. Toss all 4 of them. What is the probability that you will get at least 2 half? What is at least 2? At least 2 means the minimum is 2. It can be 3. It can be 4. But we cannot go beyond 4, right? So that will be probability of 2 is 5 over 16. And then uh, 3 is uh, 4. And then the last one is 1 over 16. So that is equals to 10 over 16. And then some of you might want to ask, hey, let, let, let's find this. That, that looks fun to me. So what is the probability that you get 6 heads? 6 heads is 6 is not in the table, right? How do you get 6 heads? Think about this. Coin, 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 coin. 4 coins. Toss all 4 of them. Can you get 6 heads? No, right? So the probability is zero. You take you are taking four classes in one semester. Can you get eight letter grades? No, each class gives you one letter grade, right? So you take four classes, you get four grades. You cannot get eight grade, you cannot get six grade, you cannot get ten thousand letter grades, right? So the probability is zero. Alright? So that will be the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful, please like, subscribe and share. Appreciate your help as always. How was the whole how was this lesson? Let me know in the comment section below. I see you all in the next one. Signing out.